Hello, my name is Jeanette Castilla, and I will be presenting code switching and translanguaging. Code switching is defined as using more than one language in a conversation or even within a phrase. Code switching can include borrowing, using a single word from a language that is different than the primary language. For example, using adieu in French as opposed to saying goodbye in English. Adieu implies a longer separation. Calc. Literally translating an expression from another language without use of the appropriate syntax. For example, saying in Spanish, el lote de parquear, the parking lot. Intersentential. Interjecting an entire sentence or phrase from one language into the primary language. For example, saying siéntate, which means sit down, followed by saying the time is up. Translanguaging is defined as the complex discursive practice where all students' language practices work towards sustaining ways of communicating while giving voice to new sociopolitical realities by interrogating linguistic inequalities. This definition also requires that bilingual students mix in their native language with the second language, but it also considers their cultural perceptions and identities. An example of translanguaging can be seen in the dialogue below. Teacher. ¿Qué quiere decir tomar el sol? Translation. What does it mean to sunbathe? Student. Porque es como you're drinking it. Because it's like you're drinking it. Student. Es algo que no lo hacemos. Translation. It's something we don't do. Teacher. ¿Y por qué no salimos a broncear? Translation. Why don't we go sunbathing? Student. Te hace cafecito. Translation. It makes you browner. Another student. Mi mamá no le gusta que yo sea moreno, más moreno. Translation. My mother doesn't like me to get dark-skinned, more dark-skinned. Arguments against code switching and translanguaging. These arguments leap think that they lead to a deterioration of both languages. Parallel monolingualism ideologies assert that languages need to be kept separate. Code switching and translanguaging are viewed as a sign of limited language proficiency in one or both languages. And code switching and translanguaging exclude monolingual speakers. Benefits of code switching and translanguaging. The transfer theory tells us that what is known and understood in one language contributes to what is known and understood in the other language. Code switching and translanguaging also provide bilingual students with positive individual and cultural identities. Additionally, they give value to the bilingual student's native language. They also balance the sense of power created in English-only classrooms, which infer that English is the dominant and more important language. When given the opportunity to use translanguaging in meaningful ways, bilinguals increase their comprehension and understanding of the text. What are the implications for teachers? Teachers should encourage and incorporate code switching and translanguaging strategies in the classroom. This includes general education teachers, special education teachers, bilingual education and dual immersion teachers, as well as ESL teachers. Code switching and translanguaging should not be limited to only verbal communications, but should also be encouraged during written activities. Teachers should use mentor texts that feature meaningful code switching between the native language and second language. Additional implications for teachers include that teachers do not need to be fluent in other languages in order to encourage code switching and translanguaging. Teachers need to be mindful of bilingual students when identifying students for gifted programs. Code switching and translanguaging require a high level of understanding of the two cultures, as well as a deep understanding of the structures and purposes of both language systems. A bilingual student's use of code switching and translanguaging may be helpful in identifying potential gifted students. Code switching and translanguaging do not need to be limited to foreign languages and standard English but may also be used with students that speak dialects of English, such as African-American vernacular English. What are the implications for standardized testing? In order to adequately measure bilingual students' growth in L2 acquisition, standardized testing should be conducted in methods that include translanguaging. 
areas for further research. Does code switching and translanguaging lead to increased standardized test scores? How can monolingual teachers encourage and use code switching and translanguaging in classrooms? How can teachers use code switching and translanguaging where there are different native languages present? And finally, how do gifted students utilize code switching and translanguaging?